before we talk about that. We'll talk about something else. Well, we're live. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, hey, hey. What's, what's up, up, Timmy? What's up, what's hey. up Mara? Hola, hola. So Nikki's not here again. You know, seeing as though, you know, she has a huge prostate, they ha- it takes a two, it's a two day process. So oh, I- okay, okay, okay. Dig okay. it, dig it, dig it. <laughs> Uh, sitting in for her this morning, but you know, once again, it's definitely too early for this year. So, you know, the show must go on. How are you guys doing? Again? I'm great. Doing How you amazing, doing? Amazing, doing amazing. How you feeling? I can't complain. You know, when you look this good, you know, you really can't complain this <laughs> early. Uh, <laughs> I see you got. I see you got the hair did on them. I see you got the hair slayed. Let me tell you something. My husband first of the month check came in, and so he had to go ahead and get me out the way early. I ain't, you know, I ain't, you know, I ain't wait. You know me. I got bills, car gear we possess, house foreclosed, blessed and highly favored. <laughs> <laughs> you know, black people. I don't care what is going on. We blessed and highly favored. Amen. Like, no, no he's not. He don't All favor day, you. You lose everything. <laughs> All day, every day, blessed and highly favored. Mm-hmm. That's the highly favored. Yes, indeed. So, everybody, everybody can't be slayed to the gods. <laughs> Listen, it takes a lot to get you. know, I said this the other day. I said this yesterday. I don't know which white woman said it, but they said it the best. Look, it it, it takes a lot. It's, it's very expensive to look this cheap, okay? It's very <laughs> expensive. It's expensive to look cheap. It's very expensive to look uh-huh. this cheap. Yep. So we got a lot going on, right? Okay. So now they're trying to say that Lil Boosie is on the DL, right? I heard that before. Okay, so you know Lil Nas X, you know, the Old Town Road, you know, him. The last day of Pride Month, June, he came out of the closet. Well, first of all, Lil Boosie, the name sounds like Lil Booty. That's too close to me. Right there, that's that's a problem right there. Your name sounds too close to Lil Booty. <laughs> Lil Booty badass, though. Now, now, it, was, it was Lil Booty, but you can't say Lil Booty. It was Booty. <laughs> well, I could definitely honestly tell you this. We do not want him in our community. Oh, uh, real Lil Nas X? Nah, that can't work. No, now we will take Lil Nas X, though. I want to ride that dick on the hotel road. <laughs> <laughs> Right yeah. to the new drive. Hit it from the back. Yeah. He gave that ass a smack. <laughs> we, will take, we will take him. We will take him. Hey, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, what's up, who? But you know what? You know what? Wrangler, Wrangler dropped him. Huh? Wrangler dropped him. From there. They dropped him. Wrangler. That's they're right, based, dear. Because they're Christian based. And they said, you, you know. Morning, BB. Hey, Anita. That's crazy, you know what? And it's sad because, see, let me tell you, like I was telling Dale earlier, you know, what our community does, we going to support his ass. Now, we better now. The LGBTQ community is better than the black community. Let me tell you, we like the white community times 10. We don't even like your ass, but we going to support you times 10. Oh, you you came out, you gay? Okay, let me go back for your album. I ain't even going to listen to the shit. I'm going to give it away as gag gift, but I'm going to support you, period. That's what's up. He's yeah. gonna, he gonna have he gonna have new mothers in every state. Absolutely. He got a lot of gay brothers and sisters, mothers, aunts and uncles. Every time well, he, they- got, he, he got he got a whole thing going on now. Absolutely. And you said Wrangler. What was the record label? No, it's a the jeans, Wrangler, Wrangler jeans. The jeans, yeah. T- look like Timmy Froze. Timmy, uh, Timmy, Timmy on the old town road. You know what? <laughs> he said he did freeze, but he is back again now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but the gene, he was, he was a, a spokesman for Wrangler and they dropped him. Mm, that is crazy. That and, is, and I get we now, and know, I, we now know that horse was actually a dick. <laughs> 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 that horse was a dick. That's what Boosie Badass was saying. That's why they're trying to say that he on the DL because he was like, well, we now would know where he was riding in the old town road and put the eggplant emoji. Oh, sure like, Monroe, April said you're beautiful. Thank you, April. Hey, it's I, April uh, with, with two L's. Uh, yeah, that's not <laughs> a, April. La, la. <laughs> yeah. But the one L is solid. Good morning, Bree. <laughs> What's up, Bree Bree? What's up, Bree? What you say, Timmy? I said, no, nah, I was saying, uh, I was just saying, you know, I, I think it's terrible that Wrangler, well, Wrangler, they Christian made, why they, they, they dropped them? But 
Chris, but what is your Chris? Let me. So this is my thing. I mean, so, it's gay cable was out there. Exactly, exactly. But if if you on base, you're dropping him off of your Christian base. So let me see. Is there anybody that is on your ad campaign that has cheated on their wife? I think you know. that's a good point. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I, I get you. A sin is a sin. Well, it's, my, it's, and, then, and then you think about it, the LGB community, they, they wear a lot of cowboy hats. Absolutely. And they wear <laughs> and boots. Well, you know, that's their whole, that's their campaign. Right? And the assless chaps. <laughs> now, come on. You're going to drop you gonna drop him, really? Your stock is going down. Well, right you here. know what? It's two, it's two sides of this. I agree. I agree. Okay, so one side is one side is did he have to act? He had to even come out gay. It's a sexual preference. He shouldn't. Have, maybe he should have just said anything. Nobody cares. Now, you know, and but and that's how he started. So his tweet really started off like you know. I know. You know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe, 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 my thing is, maybe he shouldn't have said anything. I just don't care. I'm sure like, you're not going not gonna to fuck with me no more. But he felt compelled on the last day to just say that he was, uh, that he's coming Guess up. Guess what? Again. On the last day, you fucked your money up, is what you did. <laughs> I, I, mean, I think he, I, but you know what? I think he tried to do it on the slick. Like, you know, people ain't really paying attention on the what last day. Yeah, I want to thank everybody for coming out. I suck, Dick. I'm Lil Nas X. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You cannot come out on a DL. You can. It's, it's no DL way to come out. Like, hey man, what's up, man? You know I suck, Dick. How you mother doing? <laughs> hey, he was at the show like this. I'm gonna take my horse. <laughs> you can't. You can't. Hey, hey, mama, you know for fact, it's no, it's no slick way to come out. No, no, I mean, I mean, you know what? Uh, it's it's really not. But let me tell you, I tr I trick bag my father every time. Every time it happened, I trick bag my father. But I remember when I first started, when I first decided that I was going to be trans. My father left out the house. I was wearing baggy clothes and had a goatee. He came back. I was in a mini skirt and a and, and, and a t and a tube top. He <laughs> was like, what is going on? My mother, my mother. It's so funny because my mother the whole time she was just like, okay, all right. I was like, well, I need a skirt. She's like upstairs. And as soon as my father started coming in the door, she turned her head. My father was like, what's look the at this nigga. going on? <laughs> look at this nigga here. <laughs> this nigga with a miniskirt. <laughs> you know, your father be like this. Oh, what the fuck you going today? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, can I have the keys to the car? He's like, and where the fuck is you going in the dress? I'm just, you going in the dress? Yeah, I try to just act like it was a normal day, you know. Right. It really ain't no, it ain't no easy way, but not really. But then you know what? I, I'm I'm gonna hit a lap bash, the backlash from parents and stuff, because you know it's so many kids that follow him and and love that song and mm -hmm. and all that. But I, I don't think it really should make a difference what his problem is. As long as long as long as he doesn't blast it in the face. Right, and that's right. what he did. He should he, he should not have just came out. Why? Yeah. Why, 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 why be compelled to say anything? Nobody, it's your bitch. It's your sexual preference. It's no I, reason for you to come out. I agree. No, there was no reason. Man, you could have just, who cares about what you do in the bedroom now? That's you came true. out because you want to be, I guess, the model for, 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 for LGBTQ, but you fucked but your money up. You and fucked your money up. I don't think he wanted to be the model because if that's the case, he should have did the shit June first, and that way he'd have made a lot of more appearances, a lot more. You know what I'm saying? He would have been able to perform at a lot of pride events, but that yeah. ain't what he did. You know what I'm saying? So that ain't making the money though. That's not the money though. All pride events. You mean saying nothing? You could have you could have performed everywhere. That's true. And that's my thing is LGBTQ. Y'all gotta start shortening that shit. I'm tired of all those goddamn letters. So they actually <laughs> they, <laughs> hold on, wait, wait, wait. that shit get you tongue tied. That shit like a twister. L G B H I O R key. Now it's L G B H I O R key. Why y'all add a letter every week? Yeah. Yeah, every week's a new fucking letter. That's I can't keep on this shit. L G B H I O R key. What's all for? Rare. What the fuck is rare? <laughs> <laughs> You know what? That's fucked up. But it, but that that that's a good one, though. That's Thank you. Thank you, my I'm, 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 I'm with you on that, Timmy. Because he could have easily just said, you know, I support the gay community or something, exactly. something along exactly. that nature. You just like, come out and say I like Nick. You like I support the gay. But if you like Nick, call me. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of Dick, so um, that was a weird seg segue. But um, so we go down Trump. Huh? Speaking of dick, we talking about Donald Trump. Uh, yeah, well, hey, you know, not him, no. But uh, the cucumber challenge. 
So, you know, that video has broke the internet and now they're um, doing several different retakes on it. And Amber Rose actually posted a video on IG yesterday wow. uh, that I was trying to get together. But because, you know, this is the most prepared, unprepared show ever. How about it's that? Here, it's not working. So make sure you like and share this feed. Definitely. Good morning. Good morning, Miss BB. But uh, yeah, so Amber, so Amber Rose posted a video talking about how, you know, she asked her dude if he saw the video. And of course, he tried to act like he ain't said because he didn't know how she was going to respond. And her response was, look, everybody suck dick. I mean, you know, it's not nothing. Not everybody. <laughs> no, not everybody. Not everybody. <laughs> not everybody. <laughs> look, let me ask you a question. You know what? Put a ring on it and see if your dick gets up. <laughs> it's like the ring goes on, mouth goes shut. <laughs> no, what you say, me, 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 yeah, he should have waited a little longer. I love his song. I don't care about his preference. Absolutely. The song is the song. But yeah, so she, she was pretty much saying, like, it's only one or two things happening. Either you sucking dick or you getting your dick sucked. I mean, that's just what it is. And like I said earlier, it's the lesbians that suck dick a time or two. You know what I'm saying? No judgment. But I know a couple of lesbians that put a dick in their mouth once or twice. Okay. Where they at? <laughs> Four, four, three. <laughs> seven, seven. Where oh, they two, eight, five, three. <laughs> I mean, hey, I ain't. Seven, seven, seven and nine, and three, eleven. <laughs> I mean, I have them no judgment. You know what I'm saying? No judgment. Hey, hey, who am hey, I, hey, I to judge? Like who, who am I, I to judge? Like hey, BB. If she want to practice, she want to practice. Like, hey, hey, it's a, it, that's a God-given skill. That's a God-given time. Hey, I, I don't know nothing about I that. Saw, I saw a couple of videos. I thought it was just some chicks doing it because it was this one chick. She had two of them. And uh, I actually sent, I actually tagged my uh, best friend on the post. It was like, bro, your birthday coming up. <laughs> we need to find her for you. As far as I'm coming out, his living and his truth, it is easier way to come. Yeah, you know, it's never easy way. You absolutely right. Sure, but, right. But, 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 but the thing I was saying, like Famous say, well, Hancock. He didn't have to come out. No yeah, I agree with that, though. I definitely agree he didn't have to. But, you know, but to the cucumber challenge, like I was saying, now, oh, I ain't doing that shit. I don't know y'all women do that shit. If I get a woman, if a woman ever do the cucumber challenge and then me, I'm breaking up with her immediately. I got a carrot. It's not a carrot. I got it. My dick a carrot. No, <laughs> <laughs> look, I got a carrot. Me, look, look, anybody tell you go vegan, bitch? I'm a carrot. <laughs> what do you say? Oh. She have a cucumber tail, that bitch up, you be like, I... <laughs> You want me to file that? <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, I ain't even a big carrot. I'm a mini carrot. I'm like, I ain't a big carrot. <laughs> Not the baby carrot. Not the baby <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you know, Netflix is definitely following in Ava DuVernay's footsteps. Um, they now are trying to jump on the money train and the bandwagon of you know, uh, putting a light to all the injustice and in, you know, in the legal system. And so now they're going to start taking a look at Centon Centoya Brown, the 16 year old, when she was 16 when she got convicted for killing the guy who was soliciting her for sex. And he that. Right, and she was sentenced to life. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, Netflix is going to do a documentary and a, you know, pretty much a movie on her, the whole process of her getting, you know, expedited and being released. She's supposed to be released from prison, um, August of this year, and so they're going to be capturing all that and, you know, definitely releasing that on Netflix. Good, good, good. They should start bringing light to you know people have been unjustly you know, convicted, whatever. My cousin mm -hmm. in jail right now for something that he didn't do. No, he killed the guy. What he didn't do is get away. <laughs> clearly didn't get away <laughs> yeah, definitely hey good morning, morning bobby what's up brie how you doing brie? this oh, yeah, is, right, brie, this is my this is my daughter on my shirt this is my daughter and my baby on my shirt that's my i thought that was a leah i thought it was a leah nigga. yeah this is my baby girl this is, i i got this made for a graduation this and uh, that's from the video that you sent right that from the prom video Huh? From the video, the prom video. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one I said, yeah. yeah. She's very pretty. She's very, she's pretty. very pretty. I don't know where she get it from. Definitely yeah. the mother. She look Definitely like a daddy. Uh, I swear. I, I, hey, look. There you I go. Pray and hope her, her chest is not as hairy as yours. You're doing. If that's the only thing you're doing, you're doing a hairy chest. Nigga, she gonna have some problems. I pray. I pray that your son' dick is bigger than yours. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why are you praying on my dick, Dale? I want to I'm, I'm, I'm praying for your son. So that his life, so that his hey, life hey. may be fulfilled. Hey, my girl, now we know we're going to do the remix. Dale, <laughs> Dale on the remix. Like, I got the horses in the back. That was a little fat. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the remix. Did you say the remix, Dad? That was the remix. Yeah. yeah. Nah. Okay, so Nipsey hustles. The case is still going on. Right. You yeah. know, um, they trying to figure out internal affairs is definitely taking over the investigation because um, they're trying to figure out why the girl that was driving the getaway car. They didn't apprehend her. They let her walk free. Hmm. And um, if you notice during the whole investigation and when everything was going on, everything was so focused and centered on the actual shooter that they never really talked about the person driving the getaway car and any type of, you know, sentencing or locking up or anything for her. And I'm just trying to figure out necessarily why. You know, I'm not. I'm not a. Right. Well, you know, well, she you know she, she turned she turned herself in and became state witness. So now yeah. they have her in protective custody because she has so many right. death threats against her. Uh, yeah, but that, that's, that, that's what they usually do. But good morning, you know what? It's e it's easier to turn her state witness than to uh -huh. convict her. You know what I mean? Right. I, I, you know that's the, the, I, I would rather flip her as a witness than convict her. And also, you have to prove that she had intent or she knew. What he was gonna do prior to what he did, right? So, right. so, so, why go through all that waste the money when you can use her as a witness and, and convict right. him? And the first thing she said was she was scared for her life, right? Well, she didn't know exactly, right? She didn't know he was gonna do that, and she was fearful of her life. So they made her a witness, but the people in the streets really don't care about that. That's why they have her protective custody until the trial. Yeah, because they, they, they she they getting death threats. They don't realize she had asset to the case. You know, them right. people just know she was part of Nipsey Hussle's murder. Right, right. That, that, that's how the black community see is the people yeah. on the street. They like, oh, she had something to do with it. Oh, we're going to get her too. But they don't realize that it's important for her to testify to get that conviction. Yeah, exactly. And then well, and then the streets probably really don't want no conviction. They want him, they want him to walk out. The yeah. Oh, they want that man to <laughs> <All right. laughs> die immediately, bro. Right. Two of, his cousins already, two of his cousins got killed trying to find him. Right. Man, they wasn't playing. Exactly. And you know what? And that's the and that's the thing about the injustice with the legal system these days is because, you know, they always trying to criminalize people for taking, you know, things into their own hands. But when you have a when you have a justice system that really ain't doing what the fuck it's supposed to do, you, you want some type of justice. And right. yeah. Definitely. The black community, we want blood. You know what I'm saying? The right. white people, they want jail time and that's fine for them. And, you know, they want you to just publicly admit it. We want to see your ass bleed out the same motherfucking way. Yeah. We want you to suffer the same way. And right. then on top of that, if you ain't going to suffer, we want your family to suffer. Just that's, how we that that's how we going to What's the problem with that? You know, you know, we uh, we get convicted different than whites. So now you're committing a crime yourself anyway. So now it all it, it, it spirals downhill. Yeah, I mean. But regardless, regardless of how much you hate the justice system, if you go back and you pay back, now you committed a crime, then you probably get more time than the person that did the original crime. Yeah, well, you gotta remember that. Yeah, that's you know true. I mean? That's why you. What's up, Joe Jackson? What's going on? Hey, Bobby, Joe thanks Jack. a lot, man. Thanks, you, Bobby. For your birthday, Joe Jack. Birthday for you. Comedy show for your birthday, Joe Jack. I'll be there, brother. Yeah. Joe Jack, bro, when, when's your birthday? I got a show in August. And it's it's uh, Joe Jack's birthday. Uh, I'm doing a comedy show for his birthday, man. We okay, show, okay. Man. That's what's up. That's, that's good, what's up. We, yeah, we you know cool. what? I, I feel bad. I feel bad because I didn't listen to Nipsey Hussle's music. Before he died, and now I listen to it because it's, it's. I mean, the guy was talented. Man, he had he had a lot of music that I didn't hear that was very good. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, right. yo. I yeah. mean, the last album I got into the last album because I heard I heard a couple songs. I was like, yo, this this is he really took this the music and the quality of his music to the next level. But if I listen to some of the back records, I'm like, he was already at a good point in his music. His music was already. And, and, and you know what? Game. I think that's gonna be me. I think I do comedy all over the place. I think when I die, that's when I'm gonna get a special. Oh, <laughs> when I die to get a special. But I tell you one thing, like right now, I got a Nipsey Hussle song that I listen to right before I go on stage called Grinding All My Life. Probably yeah. one of the best songs. Yeah. That song is probably one of the best. That song is the hottest song I've ever heard. But I listen to it because I don't know, it puts me in a mood before I go on stage. Okay. Yeah, okay. But I'm just saying, I, mean, I never even knew who Nipsey Hussle was, right? Yeah. But 
a couple of years I got introduced to him. He was on, I forgot the name of him. It was a movie that he was on. And I was like, God damn, he's fine. What do he do? And immediately, that's when I went into investigation mode. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm definitely going to check his music out. Right. If you find, I'm going to fuck whatever you do, I'm going to investigate because. Right. But- <laughs> that's exactly what, hey, Monroe, that's exactly what two men want to fucking hear on your feed. He was fine. <laughs> 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 right. Yeah. Like me, like me and fucking Jabba like this. Oh yeah, he was fine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to take that nigga to the old town road. I'm going to the old town road. The ladies. I'm talking for the ladies. Bree can relate. Okay. Y'all, y'all get introduced to women. You don't give a fuck if Big Booty Judy can sing like like no. I don't, I don't, you don't give a I don't fuck. Like no big ass. That's too much work. That's too much work and too much doo-doo. You know she fucking told me. <laughs> you know, you know, I don't like that shit. Jesus be a fan. Jesus be a fan. <laughs> I don't want no big booty girl. I'm, a, I'm an ass and hip, man. I like ass and hip. I like titties. I, I like a girl titties with a pancake ass. No flat like... ass, because they charge a flat rate. <laughs> 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 he said, Bitch, don't talk to me unless your back pockets touch. <laughs> That's right. Don't talk to me unless your back pockets touch. What you say, Bree? She said she was not able to watch <clears throat> the interview with Keith Battle. Oh, Pastor Keith Battle. What was the uh, the interview? What was that about? What was that, oh, that was on about? that was on Big Hove show last week. Yeah, I missed it as well. I don't know why I got caught up doing something. Um, but that was on Big Hove show. Big Hove show come on Wednesday nights at nine o'clock. Check them out on Facebook. Uh, yeah. And don't yeah. forget, everybody, we appreciate y'all joining us this morning. But while you take one second, it's free of charge. Hit Thank the share you. button. For it. Hit the Thank share you. button. Thank you. So What's what? that? Bree said Nipsey was handsome. Yes, he was. Very Whatever. much. That's why his beard was nappy. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I hate on everybody. <laughs> absolutely right. He is stupid. He is extremely stupid. Whatever. <laughs> That's another God-given talent. You have God to be good talent. I can't do that now. I can't. Do that. I was too stupid for college. Too, 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 all I can do is just talk about shit. <laughs> Omg, y'all have been a key this morning. Y'all have definitely been a king. Yep. Then what? What you got going on this week, Timmy? I got. I'll be in New Jersey, Newark, New Jersey tomorrow with uh, Mr. Cool Bubba Ice, and then I got to go to New York tomorrow as well. Right when I hit Jersey. Hold on. Is Cool Bubba? Is Cool Bubba Ice used to be on a TV show? Yeah. He older now, but he was yeah. you know a younger guy. Yeah, he... yeah, I, yeah. I'm with Jersey. I gotta go to Jersey and New York tomorrow. Okay. For the four of them, just I'm just I'm basically for this one week. I'm finally finally relaxing, not doing anything. That's, That's what's up. I'm gonna listen. Put a, to put a, steak, put a steak on the grill. Yeah, I'm gonna just sit there and touch myself while I listen to Lil Nas X. <laughs> <laughs> you get on my fucking nerves. You gonna do the three minutes. I'm gonna take my pony on the old town. <laughs> my miniature I'm horse kidding. on the old town road. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna cut his whole. I'm, I'm only listening to Billy Ray Cyrus verse from now on. Fuck his verse. Not the Billy Cyrus. said he gonna take his horse. He gonna take his miniature pony to the old town road oh. and pull him, pull him with the strap down the street because he too little to ride. <laughs> I know that Nipsey had the nappy bed because he was eating all the juicy fruit. Yeah, he was. You know, <laughs> all you women that have no juicy fruit, some of y'all got some grapefruit. Some of that shit's happening. Some of y'all got some grapefruit out there. Don't lie. Some of y'all got some, some, of, y'all, some of y'all got a fruit bag. I don't blow them out there, bitch. <laughs> some of y'all have a job like plain teas. They're all burnt the fuck up looking. <laughs> Thank you for watching every day. Because we need women on here. We need a lot of more women. Because these two fools right here. Yeah, we need more women on here. We can, we can, we can actually just grab uh, uh, Dell's daughter off his shirt. What you got? She got work point? right now. I should have told her to watch. Oh, yeah. Dell got a, a, a chest waxing appointment at three thirty. <laughs> 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 he gonna be there to the mall nine forty seven. Funny. What you got? What you got going on, Monroe? What you got going on? Well, you know, we 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 traveling. We got we got a lot of stuff going on this weekend. Going down, you know, the essence, and you know, selling selling the frame leather bags. We we down here hustling and grinding. You know, out there. Got the idea. You know. Yeah. 
you know, it's gonna be hot as hell down there. I ain't got time to be worrying about no hair, none, none of that. You know, hell no. You gotta get, get the grind you on. Gonna, right. You gonna fuck around? You gonna fuck around and start sweating it like Steph Curry? You better stop that. You better have done your sweat all day. <laughs> And don't, it's gonna don't, be hot as shit. It's gonna be don't hot forget all our viewers that's in the DC community. We got a show coming up on the 18th at the City Winery. Yeah, yeah. Definitely get your tickets for that. Get your tickets for the show at the City Who's Winery on the, on the 18th, right? Who's right. on the show? Alex Starr and Candace. August. I want to yeah. say. Yeah, that. I think so. Yeah. August. Yeah. Yeah. But July 18th, we got got a great show. All of us gonna be in the house saying hey to everybody. I'll be there. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all come out so we can actually meet and put put faces put faces with the people that we talk to online. Yeah, yeah we love y'all to death. Don't forget, hit that share button right now. I need everybody, everybody that's looking at us right now to reach out and just touch the share and say, "Boo! Oh yeah, yeah!" Reach out and touch <laughs> this damn feed. <laughs> Make this feet a better one. <laughs> if you can. Hey, hey, hey Dell, what's your words of wisdom before we get out of here? Oh man, I just want to say, man, if you on this side of the, if you on this side of the dirt today, man, be grateful, be thankful for whatever it is because you could have been on the other side. Some of us didn't make it, but we here, and you here to able to see us and hang out with us, man. And just remember, put your best foot forward and be great because you were born to be that way, and there's no other way to be, man. Remember, we love y'all. We love you to death. Each and every day, 10 30 is gonna be Timmy, um, Nikki, Monroe, myself. It's gonna be somebody here, but we're gonna hang out with us, man. Make sure you join us, and we love y'all to death. We really appreciate y'all for joining us. And, and we're gonna see you there, Princess. Appreciate you're gonna be there on the 18th. Definitely make sure you introduce yourself if you're coming on the 18th. But get your tickets for the Cittery Winery on the 18th. We're gonna be there. there. Tickets are like $20, I think. Yeah, so get your, go ahead and get your tickets, man. Enjoy yourself on a Thursday night with the family. You know what I'm saying? Because it's too early for this shit. Yeah. yeah. Too early. All right, y'all have a good right. day. Have a good Peace one. Love y'all. Be safe. Bye -bye. Share. Share the feed. Share the feed. Yeah.